Hi guys. Today's video is going to be all about demoing this archway in this room in our house. So this house is about 20 years old. When this house was designed, formal living rooms were still really popular. And of course, when I was a kid, mine always just sat empty. No one ever used it. So when we bought this house, we decided to turn this into a playroom for our kids. As you can see, it's a mess. It's almost always a mess. If you have any kids, you know it's really hard to keep the room clean. And it's right off of our entry. So I want to close it off so that it's not the first thing you see when you walk in our house. Another reason why I want to close this wall off is because we have a very open concept house. So there are basically six rooms open to each other. It gets really loud in here sometimes and you can hear every little thing, like the pencil that just fell in our kitchen. <laughs> So I um, want to close off some of these walls. This is going to be the first one I'm going to close off just to give it a little bit more privacy and, and dampen some of the sound. And this is going to be the new video game room for our kids as they get older. Here's a quick look at those six rooms that are open to each other. It's basically the playroom, the foyer, the dining room, our kitchen, the living room, and finally, it leads into our office, which also has two doors to it for some reason. So eventually, I want to get rid of that one too. Okay, it's demo time. I um, hung plastic over both doorways to keep the mess, the drywall dust specifically, out of the other rooms since we do live here. I also took my time with this demo to help reduce the dust and the mess from uh, demoing this archway too. I started by carefully removing the baseboards and the drywall from the archway. I wanted to remove that drywall in sections so that it would be easier to throw away and to just deal with as I was demoing. As you can see, I have wainscoting in this room too. So I had to um, remove that wainscoting that was touching the archway too. So I used a box knife, cut along the edge of that molding before I removed it because otherwise the paint is going to start peeling up the wall and then I would have another mess to fix before I could rebuild this area. Like I mentioned a minute ago, I am framing in this opening and putting a wall here, but you could totally just remove the archway. If you have something like this that you don't think fits the style of your home, you could remove the bump out on that archway and then frame it out and make it a beautiful cased opening if that fit better with your home or even just drywall it. I also used that box knife to cut along the inside corners where the archway connects with the ceiling or the walls. That will also just help prevent that paint from peeling away on the areas that you want to keep in your house. Here is a closer look at how I use that box knife on the inside corners. Cutting along those inside corners makes demo easier and it also makes patching um, the walls later easier too. Okay guys, so I have removed most of the drywall so I can get to the framing of this arch. I want to point out that I also removed the trim work around the area. So I'm actually going to have cabinets that I'm going to build that are going to come out to around here. Let's talk about the structure of this archway. So mine is bumped out. Some of you are just going to have an archway that is flush with the wall on both sides. But on one side of all of the arches in my house, there it is bumped out. So all of this framing on this side is the bump out. This is the structural supports for the wall. This is what would have been here even if the arch wasn't here. So I don't want to touch any of this structural framing in the wall. I only want to get rid of the arch. So the framing for the arch is completely separate from the framing for the wall. So all of this from the bottom all the way up is going to be removed. And as you can see here, the curved arch is going to be removed also. So none of this is structural, but I will have to work at it, cut it away. I'll show you how I'm going to cut this away in just a second. For now, let's just look at this side. So I've already removed the framing, the structural framing for the archway on this side. So everything that's left here is going to stay here. So this is my walls, my supports. This is um, actually probably a pretty important stack of um, support lumber because 
This wall carries all the way up to my roof. So I'm sure it's supporting the weight of my roof. I used my really old reciprocating saw and circular saws in this demo to cut away the framing. Again, you gotta be super careful. You do not wanna uh, cut or interfere with the structural framing in your house. So I set the depth of my circular saw so that it would only cut through the stud that was the bump out. And I was careful with my reciprocating saw too. So just take your time and be careful, guys. It also saved, saves a lot of time in the long run if you just take your time and examine how each, each piece is attached to the next to decide if you can just simply pry away a piece or if you're gonna have to cut that piece away. To remove the top of the arch, I decided it would be easier to cut the little two by four blocks that were connecting the two arched pieces at the top. To cut through all of those blocks, I used my reciprocating saw to cut through each piece. Then once both of those sides, the um, foyer side and the playroom side of that arch were not connected to each other anymore, I realized that the easiest way to get that arch out would be to pull it down from the ceiling. So you'll see in a minute, um, I actually used my pry bar and disconnected it from the two by four support that was along the top of that arch. So once I had this side of the archway down, I moved to the entryway side of the wall where I used my box knife to cut away the drywall just around the um, ply plywood arched opening or arched piece of wood. See it is here it is there. So I wanted to carefully cut that away um, and save the drywall that I'm going to be keeping on that side. So I just cut away enough from the framing to put new drywall in to close that opening up. And here's a look at all of that bump out and the archway removed on both sides of the room. So you can see it could be easily um, turned into a cased opening if you didn't want to uh, drywall your room like I am. Here's a quick look at me cutting and hanging the drywall on the foyer side. I do have a separate video with 15 tips for beginners for how to cut and hang drywall in your home. It's not as hard as it sounds or as, as it might even look. It's actually pretty easy and a good way to save money if you are into trying out new DIY projects. Okay, and here is a quick look at the way this wall looks now. I have um, updated the foyer with a bit of a wainscoting treatment on this side. And the playroom is going to have a huge wall of built-ins for TV and for toy storage and book storage and game storage and all of that stuff on this side. Thanks for checking out this video, guys.